I recorded this when I was very, very tired. I was running off like two hours of sleep. So if there is any repeating things I might say that are annoying, that's probably why. Also, I recorded this like four to five months ago before stuff happened. So if I don't mention them, that's why. Uh, and I came here thinking it was going to be like a third person green screen thing, but it's not. So, uh, editor, put me anywhere. Put me, put me in a Burger King. Hi, Banana Man here. And you may know me as the VR YouTuber. Most people know me as the VR YouTuber, because I'm the only VR YouTuber. If you disagree with that statement, mm, I don't think so. No, no. Mm -mm. And I'm here as the VR YouTuber to rate all of the Oculus Quest 2 games I have played. And I'm the only one that plays VR games, because I'm the only one who has a VR headset. Here is every Quest 2 game that I have ever played. Right here. So many games, I know, thank you, thank you. And I will rate them from innovation. That's misspelled, fuck. The greatest excel. Oh, that's also misspelled. Oh man, okay. Alright, you get it. I'm gonna rate them. First, I'm gonna start with. SCP Lab Rat. Alright, it seems I, tr I tried this on my laptop and it worked. I haven't tried it on VR yet and it really doesn't work. So, uh. You'll have to remember where I put everything. Just imagine it. Alright? Oh, maybe I'll edit it. I don't, I don't know. Lab Rat. The good, good SCP in VR. Beautiful. On the Quest 2, even better. Very buggy. Uh, uh, kind of laggy. It would make some people nauseous. But that's not the problem, because I don't get nauseous, and I'm the only VR player, so I'm gonna put it in. Fuck. Uh, okay. No, okay, seems... Why is it so low? Uh... I think these are the same thing. Alright, it goes in okay. Or pretend it's in okay. Next cat. Cat in the hat. VR. I have never read the book, or whatever it's based on, so I don't know how, uh canon it is but uh, it was a boring fucking game i think i still have a video of it oh it is or put it on yeah that it boring as shit i just talked about like joe biden i think because nothing was happening all right next insomnia I insomnia is a horror game and it looks so fucking good for quest 2 and i just loved the whole game i thought it was awesome a good old... Th Wait, I didn't put Cat in the Hat anywhere, fuck. <laughs> uh, Cat in the Hat goes in bad, because it's a bad game. Insomnia goes in the greatest, because wow. It's not innovationary, but it's great. Next, Harvest VR. One of the first games I have played on VR, and I played it for hours. It's so fun, it's like Stardew Valley VR. I've never played Stardew Valley, Stardew fuck. I've never played Stardew Valley, but I'm sure it's like that. It goes in excellent. <laughs> Survival Nation. A friend gifted it to me, a fun zombie game. We played it for like the first three days, and then never opened it again. And I don't plan to. Good game, but I just don't want to play it ever again. It goes in okay. Because I don't have a good... I didn't put a good tag. After the fall, the game is fucking fun. So fun. I love it. Co-op, zombie killing, you can have so many guns, put attachments. Hella fun. And, and, uh, it's, it's, wow. Great. Goes into great test. Uh, yeah, great. Yeah, mm, um, yeah great test. Uh... Ancient Dungeon VR. So underrated. And it's one of my favorite VR games ever. It goes straight into innovationary because it's awesome. 
I love it so much. You're in a this dungeon crawler, and it's oh, you have to play it. Just play it. Get the demo. Try it out. Oh, you'll love it. Next, uh, I have two of them for the same game just because it's so fucking good. Capuchin, great, excellent. It's excellent. It's fun. Good, good walking. Uh, I love it compared to Gorilla Tag, which goes into grr angry. I hate it. Walking, horrible. I still suck at walking in Capuchin, but Gorilla Tag is just worse. That you may say that's a skill issue, but being the only player, not being able to walk, like it's it's a bit it's a bit annoying. I hate it. And Capuchin is so much better in like every way. First steps. Many quest players first. I'm, on, I'm the only player. Uh, good. First steps. I like the guy that dances. He's fun. Uh, we dance together. I love. I love him. I, lo I love the guy. It, it goes into uh, uh, innovationary because it innovated games. Because it's the first. I don't know. It's probably the first game. I don't know. Oh, I didn't put Unity Cube anywhere, did I? Uh, it goes into... Okay, it's okay. It's an okay game. Better than Roll Tech, that's for sure. Uh, um, help Wanted. FNAF Help Wanted. Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted. Wow. Spooky. Shiver Me Timbers. It goes into Greatest. That game... Wow. <laughs> Have I said wow before? <laughs> Spooky. The 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 normal like uh, nights they're okay. Never spooked me. Uh, just the third game because I don't like having a vent next to me. That's terrifying. Uh, but when you, you are in the vents, that game mode. Wow. I I could. I don't think I finished it. I said wow again. Wow. 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 Someone put a counter. It, it spooked me in the vents. Very spooky. I'm gonna play it again just so I can. With footage for this video of me getting scared in the vents. Uh, Ghost of the Boar. Ghost of the Boar is a newer FPS game and I fucking love it. You go into the game as a naked man with no guns, no armor, no nothing. You find shit, you kill people with it, you steal their shit, go back to an exfil point which boots you up to your bunker where you're safe, put your guns on the wall and collect. And that uh, you like it. And when uh, when the reset comes, like in the last week, you can take all your guns out and don't give a shit because they're gonna go away anyway. And everything's gonna get reset. And the guns are awesome. Not many, but awesome. Uh, yeah, uh, innovationary. Uh, f did they say anything for FNAF? Uh, I think I did. Uh, yeah, innovationary. Fuck, awesome game. Oh, I love it. So fun with friends. Could play for hours. And I died to mine twice. F uh, uh, Pavlov Shack. One of the games that I am known for. I'm, n I'm not known by anyone, actually. Pavlov Shack. A game. That I have played a lot of, and many videos on my channel of Pavlov Shack. I love the game. I actually really do. The guns better than Ghost of the Boar. Uh, shooting better than Ghost of the Boar. I love the game modes more than Ghost of the Boar. And uh, the people suck. M most of the people suck in the community and everywhere. But I still love it. TTT uh, was fun at first, but I haven't played it in like half a year. Or more. Like, whenever there was the last RC. Um, I still love s &D. It's kind of the only game that I play. But I really like it. So it goes into Innovationary. Right next to Ghost of the Boar. Dragon's gonna get mad at me because he doesn't like Pavlov Shack and loves Ghost of the Boar. But he can uh, suck my dick. It goes off the board. I still find better than Pavlov Shack currently. It just is. I, I it's just better. Pavlov Shack doesn't have much. Uh, Green Hell VR. I played this game for like a bit. 
and all I did was gather bananas in my backpack and then I stopped playing. But uh, from what I remember, it was pretty fun. So uh, it's pretty excellent. It's pretty good. Pretty damn nice. I still, I think there's still video somewhere on my SD with me gathering the bananas. So editor, if you find it, put it out there. I'm the editor. Uh, hand tracking lab. I don't remember the name of this game. It's like hand hand physics lab. And I think that's it, yeah. You hand track, it's about hand tracking, and you do all kinds of stuff. You do puzzles, and grab nerf guns, and shoot them, and it's fun for like an hour, and then you never open it again. But it's fun for that hour, very fun. So it goes into excellent, very fun game for a bit. Next, uh... Uh... Mm, uh lies Beneath. I don't know if it's underrated or I don't. I haven't heard many people playing it, but I it's one of my favorite games as well. It's a horror game. I love the art style, and it's very. I, I'm gonna make a video on it soon. I think some stuff has happened that made me kind of not like the game very much. It's not the game's fault. It's Oculus's fault. But the game is hella fun and looks awesome and spooky, very spooky. I, I fell on the floor at some point because I was scared. Uh, it goes into greatest because I don't think it's innovation. What did it innovate? Mm, oh. It innovated that art style for VR. It goes straight into, you know, mm, you're right up there in it. So, uh, I was Spark. Yes, yeah, Spark. FPS game. Uh, loved by all at some point for like a week. And then no one talked about it again. I played it f for that week, like every day. It was very fun. Um, not very skill based. Every gun was like very good. Uh, but there were some guns there, but I think the AK was like the best. Uh, after I didn't even know it became ca uh, paid. I said it became paid. I, I, I own it because I played it when it was free. I, I haven't played it yet as paid. Maybe I'll play it a bit, but footage I, it was it was it was okay okay game uh editor change it to something higher if it's better after i played it and next discovery now this is an insanely good game like it's a uh, basically a port of minecraft to vr uh and minecraft is the biggest game ever come to vr it, it, of course it's gonna be good and you can like build and destroy, and it's it's very cool. It, it it's easily innovationary because it innovate. The Minecraft's an innovative game. It, just very good because Minecraft. But then it's Questcraft, a blatant copy of Discovery, as a Minecraft, the VR port. Discovery is just better. It was here first, then Questcraft is just a hack. I, I don't know what that word means. It just seemed like it fits. So, mm, bad. You're going to grr angry because I'm, I'm angry. Grr. Yeah. Population 1. Uh, I recently became free. It used to be paid. I haven't played it yet. The uh, trailer looks cool. It's like the first thing I saw when I bought the Quest 2. Uh. I haven't played it, I don't know. It's probably excellent, because it's popular. Yeah. No clip VR. I play this game. It's very fun to play if you have friends, but you don't, because I'm the only one with the VR headset. Uh, I have like a few videos recorded of it. I doubt I'll ever upload them, because I'm a lazy piece of shit. But I say it's a great test game. It is very fun. Very, very fun. Uh, Rec Room? Hell yeah. I played that game in total for uh, hours. Tens of hours. So many. I, I haven't played it recently in like the last four months. Or five. Or since Halloween. I don't, I'm not good at math. That's probably five months ago. Uh, but it, it was an innovationary game. It, it's awesome. It's awesome. Uh, crawl space. Terrifying as shit. I think there's a video somewhere of me playing it. God, I hate it. 
I'm claustrophobic. Being in a tiny space underneath a house or whatever crawl spaces are. Crawling around like with your hands. That's a broken hand. Like this. Like this. While babies are in there chasing you. Fucking horrifying. The second one was less horrifying, but it was still very scary. This is, there's a also a video of that recorded. If I find it, I'll put it on screen. Yeah, being chased by babies in a small area while you need to crawl. Very, very spooky. Among Us. I love Among Us VR. I bought it for a friend, we played it once, and then no one opened it again. And I'm gonna be salty about that forever, because I love the game, just no one wants to play with me. It's awesome. It's an awesome VR game. So screw you, dragon. And Yeet Boy, no. I don't think I've asked Yeet Boy to play. But he, he'd probably say yes. I, I love Yeet Boy. You're my favorite NATO member. The Under Presents. I played this demo like a few months after I got my headset. And I thought it was fucking awesome. I don't remember very much what it was about. But I remember I thought... This was peak VR. I, I haven't played the full version, only the demo. I want and I recently rediscovered it and I wanna get the full version because I, it was awesome. It was very cool, the demo. You should play it. This fuck, what is this game? Uh oh, right. The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. I got the game, played quite a few of it, bit of it. Um uh, had never finished it. I remember it was fun, it was fun. Good it was a pretty fun story. Um I only played for a bit. I didn't really like the guns. Um, good game. I haven't put the last four in a fuck. Okay. Uh, I think I didn't put Rec Room. Did I put Rec Room? No, it's in a visionary. Crawl Space, greatest. Very fun horror game. Among Us, in a visionary. Play it with me, please. Uh, Down there presents. Uh, I have no idea. It's probably in a visionary. Uh, to walking that that's the one. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, Trover, Trover, who knows? He saves the universe. P pretty fun game. You play like a controller. It's third person, I think. That's what it's called. Fl you, you float around somewhere and you control this character down there. It's fun. It's very, I like the story. It's 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 excellent. Onward. I owned this game for a day on Christmas, and then I uh, returned it. I uh, d refunded it because it sucks. I don't like it. It's it reminds me of Pavlov. Just bad. It costs money. Pavlov check is free, and the community is somehow even worse in Onward than Pavlov. D d bad people. And lastly. We are here after like five minutes. VR chat. Grr, angry. Oh, it's onward as well, grr, angry. Now that you've heard my clearly correct take, you're gonna hear a take on the exact same tier list from a not very uh, clever fellow. So don't be too mean to him. Um, I'm noticing a lack of a game. Uh, Blade and Sorcery. Yes, Blade and Sorcery. Good game, right? So, Blade and Sorcery, very good game. Yes, I put it at the greatest, as in cheese great. Excellent, excellent. This is SCP Lab Rat. There was a video called SCP Lab Rat is a Buggy Mess. Now, this does not mean it wasn't fun. It was very fun. Very fun, dude. I would build the greatest world. Wow. This was a good game. See, with this game... You get to play the classic SCP Laboratory. No, SCP Reach. <laughs> it's a good game. So, SCP Containment Breach was one of the classics of every childhood in the early 2000s. You're like, I, won I wonder if the SCPs are real. You would look up real SCP, and you'd see that one image of SCP-173 in a statue in the corner, and you're like, wow. That is scary. And you said, I hope the boogeyman doesn't get me tonight. Have love, Shaq. Have love, Shaq. No matter what you say, no matter what you do, all you do is shoot and reload. It is a gun game. 
That is the only thing you can say about it. Unlike other VR games where there's twists, this is the standard. It's CSGO in VR, and that is what they're going for. For example, Survival Nation, that's guns and zombies. After the fall, guns and unique zombies. Population 1, guns and battle royale. And so, Ghost of Tabor, PvP, PvE, with extraction. Pavlov Shack has none of that. You gain points for nothing. There is no gun skins yet, and they keep promising it, and they never come. Each update, said by devs, is never given what you were wanted. For example, they'll say, in this update, we'll add matchmaking. Yet, currently, as we are recording this, there is not a single matchmaking ma 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 future. Ancient Dungeon VR. From what I've seen, it looks like a classic sword game where you slash stuff and they kill you. It looks pretty fun. I would play it if I had money. It's excellent. Below Lab Rat. It's a monkey. What's he doing? I don't know. Um, here he is. Yup. Mm -hmm. Monkey. Uh, Unity Cube. I bet Banana put this at like the top. He was saying stuff about how it's the greatest experience ever of all of mankind and nothing would ever come close to it. But I'm gonna put it a gur because I'm being serious here. These games are good. Uh, this game sucks. FNAF VR. FNAF VR does its one job, be scary and be accurate recreation of FNAF VR. I mean, FNAF... Uh, fuck! God! 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 FNAF VR is what it does. A very scary, very pants-shitting... That is laughing at me! Springtrap VR. Very good game. Weird spin-off of FNAF VR. I didn't like the three-hour scene of him making a pizza. Ghost of Tabor? Ghost of Tabor. Listen, let me tell you about Ghost of Tabor. I have five days of in-game time just on my quest, too. Ghost of Tabor is so fucking good. It has... It's, it's literally... It is literally the game of progression, right? No matter what you do, it is only progression. It is awesome. You can level up your traders. It's Tarkov. It's Ghost of Tabor Tarkov. Tarkov in VR. And Tarkov is one of the most renowned games for being fun. And totally not hair-pulling and disastrous. But this is easily the best game on Quest 2. Even the monkey doesn't come close to Tabor. Gorilla Tag. I'm going to punch Banana in the fucking throat. He's talking about a Nutcracker. His Nutcracker's head fell off, and he feels the need to interrupt me when I'm being passionate about my favorite game. He's crying. Alright, Crawl Space. Very scary the first time you play it, but as soon as you get used to the horror aspect, it's not scary at all, and it's very boring. But the first time I saw a doll running at me through the dark, I fucking screamed as loud as I possibly could ever scream. And I, like, slapped the floor in an attempt to run, and then I froze up and got killed. It truly is an extremely scary game. Especially if you have the fear of dolls and claustrophobia. If you have both of those and you play that game, it'll probably be a psychological terror for you. Truly is an excellent game right below that. VR Chat. Banana just said the worst thing ever, and I hope he's secretly recording his voice. Um, so, VR chat is a place where you go if you're a loner, if you have no friends to talk to. Or, if you're even the semi-slightest of gay. And that's not an insult either. VR chat is mainly pro like populated by people who are homosexuals. That's a statistical. You know what rhymes? Testicle? Testicle. That's what the people who play this game like. VR chat, I played it like three times. Right? When I first got my headset, and like, I don't know, maybe two months ago. Two months ago, I load into the Black Cat, whatever the fuck, diner place. I meet a guy who is like 30. He is hitting on me. I think, hmm, that's a strange thing. So I say, nah, -uh. I block him. 
and I go to a different world because that's what a normal person would do. And in this world is a mirror. And in the mirror is eight people snuggling and cuddling each other as a sort of poly relationship. Fun fact. Poly relationships, I don't get it all. I don't understand. I don't. I mean, it doesn't hurt anybody. I guess you're free to do whatever you want, but I don't see me entering a poly relationship ever. VR chat is easily worst game on Quest. There's not even anything fun to do on it. It's just a social platform. It is a social game. It is that is it. That's all you do. And Banana is fighting me over this because he loves VR chat. You know why? Because he likes penis. That is the connection. He likes penis, so he likes VR chat because VR chat is just a big old bag of dicks. Literally. Factorio. Factorio. Um. All right. This is my tier list, guys. Thanks for showing up. I will not be putting Factorio on the tier list. Uh, here's a monkey. He's got his tongue out. Tee hee hee. Thanks for looking on to my tier list. There is nothing objectively wrong with it. I am Phil LeBrex. Planet keeps saying putting Factorio on the list, but I'm not listening to him. As a matter of fact, I'm very good at it. I'm pretty sure every word on this is spelt wrong, besides angry, bad, and okay. <laughs> exactly. It's half the words that are spelled wrong. Okay. Uh, that's my tier list. Bye, guys. Cut to Banana yelling at me over yelling at VR chat because he's a pussy and he likes dick. Oh, and also, uh, join the Discord server, please. Mwah. Mwah. Uh.